end up back in a... The thing that I actually was able to buy, um... For here, for Valeria, um... I bought her a fur cape. Um... Because she's in the front row and uh, she's going to need as much defense as she can get in the area coming up, so... And if we would have come in here before, uh, this guy just would not have led us through, so... going here so usually usually I was gonna say usually on those type of floors um you're not attacked but of course we were here so um we have a new enemy here the crimson dwarf um a lot like uh, the dwarf from before but uh this one is a little more powerful, so... Better armor and, uh, better offense, so... Can't remember, uh, if he's gonna be strong enough- okay. I was gonna say, I can't remember if he's strong enough to last to the second turret or not, so... Thank God for the Falcon Rune. It's a little more difficult, of course, if we run into a group of them, so... They're one of the harder enemies down here, so... Okay, in this room, um, you would kind of think that, uh, if we open up one of these things, it would close with another one and that kind of thing, like, uh, it'd be a hard thing to do like that, but, uh, no, um, just open all of them up, so. There will be a couple of things like this that uh, are a little more difficult here, but uh, uh, this one is really easy, so. Sunbeam crystal. Auto recover HP. Um, kind of similar to the. Um, Putting on like uh, the water rune fragments. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this one, <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, is that um, we can't put anything else like uh, a magic crystal or anything on. So I think that's the only one that we get throughout the game too. So. Thinking so, so. Uh, okay, so. That's really weird. Um, I didn't think that this one was actually closed off for us, but. Guess I could uh, go back up here and uh, see which one I could uh, close off, so. <coughs> okay, um. Yeah, you, you just want to um, open up uh, the two on the uh, far left and the far right. You want to close the one on the middle, so. But I uh, didn't get into any random battles there. Hmm. 
Hmm. See if they get that up, they'll be running into a whole bunch of random battles here, but... Because it's not like, uh, this area is completely empty or anything. Uh, I'll leave this one in because, uh, it's a new enemy here, the Death Machine, um... Uh, harder than the machines in LaPan's house, um... Uh, I, I don't think that there's, uh, any, uh, differently colored ones here, so... I think, uh, Death Machine is, uh, just basically all-encompassing for, uh, everything in this area, so... I'm hoping for uh, some more random battles because, uh, well, I'm gonna need at least uh, a couple of uh, levels for uh, fighting the boss, so. As you can see, uh, these things are worth a pretty good experience, uh, at least for the area, so. If they would uh, show up more often, I'd probably, uh, Stick around and grind against them a little more often, but... Three Crimson Dwarfs and three Death Machines. Um, that was a pretty tough battle there, so... Luckily, nobody died on me, so... If somebody did die, um... I would, uh, probably go back to the inn and, uh... Try and, uh, refill their hit points, uh... Because I got an escape talisman, so... One death machine, so... Three death wars. So... I'm doing a... Uh, Pretty good for bits, um, I'm actually doing pretty good for experience too, um, not quite as high as, uh, of course I would like, but, let's see, uh, I'm wondering if the, uh, blue crystal can, uh, really go with anybody, or blue ribbon, sorry. Um, it doesn't really help anybody out, so. I could uh, probably put the uh, fur robe on somebody else, like a pawn or whatever, and uh, get the blue ribbon of Valeria, but... Um... No, that's okay, so... Der. I'm surprised there, um, that was a blue death machine with, uh, the spear, so... I'm wondering, uh, did I miss something over here? Two grams of dwarves, um, I'll probably just, uh, do this off-screen or, uh, be right back or whatever, but, um... Yeah, I kind of want to gain, uh, some extra levels, so... Two death bars, so thinking did I miss something over here? I think I did. Hmm? Okay, well kinda glad I came back this way then. Magic robe. I don't think that this is gonna be an upgrade for anybody though. 
that's going to suck, but... Hmm. 22 defense. Yeah, it'd be an upgrade for somebody. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, uh, replace our guard rope, so... He's going to be uh, probably the fastest person for me, so... And I'll be getting uh, some other uh, other ones later, so I mean, it, it's not like uh, once we're done with uh, Valeria, we have to take it off or anything. I think the uh, magic rope will uh, actually increase our magic casting by a little bit. Um, so if you uh, have like Cleo in your group, uh, you might want to put it on her uh, as long as uh, you equipped her with the fire crystal from before. So. You know what, uh, I'll uh, just meet you over by the door, so I will be right back. And uh, back, and uh, luckily for me, when I was uh, facing some of the um, death boars, um, they did drop uh, something for me, so they dropped an extra fur cape, which uh, I put on pawn there, so. He just had a regular cape there, so... And right now, um... If your guys are really low on HP, I would uh, definitely fill them back up, so... They don't have to be all the way filled or anything like that, so... But, um... I would say if they have, like... Less than 150 HP, um, I definitely use a medicine on them, so. Just not too far from here, uh, we run into the uh, boss up the area, so. I think the, the one uh, just south of there, um, that is the one that uh, will take us over to um, to the end part of the floor here, but we want to get that uh, treasure chest there for us, so. I kind of thinking that there might be an order to this thing, but... Oh well, you know. Thunder Rune piece. Um, not the same thing as a Thunder Rune or anything, so uh, really no need to go back or anything, so... As I said, I really wish that there was an analog stick for this, but no, it's uh, all D-pad stuff, so I think it's uh, in the next room that the boss has. Well, next actual room, let's just say.
Oh, okay. Definitely there, so... Just a sword death machine, so... Quartet. I don't really need that right now, so... I believe that... Um... I think it's the death machines, um... They can uh, hit us with balloon status, so... But... It really doesn't matter for me, because, uh... I think most of my guys uh, have point hats on right now, so... Run piece. I don't think that uh, Valerie does, but um, yeah, I, I think uh, she has a half help it too, but uh, um, if one of my guys uh, gets infected with balloon sublight, you know, because it, ru it runs off, so. Didn't I? Kind of filled up here, so. Still up. Um, I think if we put this on, we can uh, actually get the person to uh, be able to use like a uh, um, more attack with uh, their actual rune before uh, they become unbalanced. Um, I think with these things, um, you can also get it so that you can uh, cast some more magic, but, eh, really, um, really that's okay, um, because it's a rune piece, though, um, you might want to at least kind of think about it for, uh, for some of your magic casters, so. Three Crimson Dwarfs, so the boss is uh, farther along this place than I thought it was, so, so I thought it was, uh, I'll uh, leave this one in, um, I thought it was actually going to be uh, much closer, but I guess I uh, really can't complain too much because uh, my guys are gaining a good amount of experience before him, so. And we're gonna need it. Um, let's see, uh, how is uh, 